Hey everyone, welcome to another one evidence one. We're gonna hop into Grafton Farmhouse. I'm gonna collect that one piece of evidence, do all the testings, and you decide what ghost we are dealing with. So let's see what we're up against. Waker is there. Okay, looks good. Snow weather, okay. Okay, so if you wanna play for yourself on these settings, I post them in the description as usual. So let's hop right in. Okay, so let's hop right in. The breaker was behind the master bedroom. I think this is the master bedroom here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, hey there. How convenient. Bony pants is right here. Nice, we can get can take care of you right away sorry sometimes i just i'm too stupid to speak we got a hiding spot here nice hiding spot near the breaker means jackpot which means you can turn the breaker on anytime even if the ghost starts hunting you can just hide there and you'll be fine <laughs> no hiding spot here okay okay let's quickly take care of bony pants heard anything yet but I think my uh, speaker system is a bit too quiet so let's check here for a hiding spot because I like that hiding spot oh yeah perfect got that one so let's leave the lights on in case we need it close these doors give us a sign where are you can you give us a sign ghosty are you here I thought I've heard something from over there, but was it muffled? Are you upstairs? Hello, ghosty! This door is slightly open. Oh, dirty water! Oh, thank you, ghosty, we get a dirty water pick. Nice. Hey there! Stop pooping. Okay, ghosty found you this is dangerous what i'm doing here leaving my smudge behind because we still don't know what we're up against so i'm gonna grab those crucifixes and i'm gonna grab a cam and that may be actually in this room it could also be in the hallway and just roamed into this room so let's secure this area for now let's leave that a little bit over here so it can sp can't spawn outside and let's check where Ghosty actually is using the thermal because uh, where the low temps are, there the ghost would be, right? Oh no, don't do this to me! You are a hallway ghost, what the fuck? No, so it just. Did you just worm into this room? No, wait, this room is cold as well. Okay, whoops, I didn't want to do that. F and G is way too close together. <laughs> okay, let's leave that here for now. Oh, I forgot to bring the books. So the hallway is cold as well. Let's bring in one sensor and track the ghost a bit. So the room is secured for now, but if it starts hunting in the hallway, we might have a problem. I don't know if I would be able to pick up everything. Why are you glowing like this? Okay, strange. Let's... Oh! Wait, was it that door? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. You are actually here. Nice. Okay. Let's grab a UV ASAP to check for some fingies and grab some more sensors. I love the sensors. I don't care what everyone says. Oh, yes, you are there indeed. Okay. Let's see. Any fingies? Nope. Not yet. Let's leave one in here so we can track the movement a little bit and one over here. So we can see if the ghost is in its room or leaving. Okay, what else do we need? We need this, we need this, we need this. And we're gonna need, of course, video cam and dotsies. Because we haven't found any evidence yet. Okay, let's leave that here. Okay, leave that over here. <coughs> no writing yet. Do we have any salt pictures at all? One. Okay, so I can take another one. And another one. Okay, these piles are done. 
Whoop. Goodbye, piles. Thank you for free money. <laughs> I think we need the power mic, right? Let's, just in case, let's start setting up the hiding spot. Because we still don't know what we are we are dealing with. Hey there. Thank you for all these inter- Whoa! That was too loud, ghosty! That- uh, It scares me if it's right on top of me. <laughs> Sorry guys, it makes me jump sometimes. Because sometimes- uh, I don't know, I haven't balanced my uh, audio. <laughs> I get 7.1 and sometimes the front is louder, sometimes the rear. I have to balance that a little bit. <laughs> because uh, all the amplifiers are separated and I have to get the right volume. Leave that here as a light source, leave that here too. Okay, leave them here. Okay, so everything looks fine so far. Let's grab a candle just in case we have to do some testing with that. Okay, our sanity keeps draining right now because I don't hold the candle even though the lights are on. They won't prevent your sanity from draining. Let's bring in the last evidence items and let's see what evidence this ghost gives us. If it gives us any at all. Okay, you are in here for sure. That's obvious. I, I see an orby. Okay, that's an orby. Look at that orby. Oh, where are you going, orby? Stay in here, please. Okay, let's leave it near the door so it points at the door. Um, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Okay, so no spirit box and it was right behind me because it triggered the sensor. Because if we get Orbeez, we have to check for three more evidence because it could be a ghost um, that always have Orbeez. That was the breaker. I was about to say, wait, that sounded like the breaker, and I turn around, and it's dark. But yeah. Let's see. I can leave that here. And I'm gonna put you here. That's okay. Okay, are you about to hunt? Usually the ghosts like to start a hunt after killing the breaker. I'm stepping around. We can take some more pictures when we come back there. Okay, uh, I it's still on. I actually don't like that Orbi combo. And also, you have to be careful on this map because you won't hear the door slam shut when the hunt starts. So better check if you can toggle the light switch. And if you can't toggle it, then a hunt is going on. You better hide then, or have a smudge on you and loop the ghost or whatsoever. You can loop it around here in the kitchen and the dining area, also around through these doors here because it's a big circle. Did you just knock on the mirror? Oh no, that's the door. Wait, when did you do that? And the EMF is not going off, which means... That was the mirror! This one? Okay. Oh, I don't have a cam, I'm stupid. Does it count? Please make it count. Oh my god, that's nice. Okay. And, yeah, whatever. Take another of this and we get all the picks. Ah, because of one ghost, I should stay out of this room. It's not H Obake, not Hantu, because uh, Hantu will always have freezing first. Obake will always have fingerprints first. That's why they are out. I'm helping you here. You love that mirror, huh? Okay, so... Okay, we got some early hunting ghosts on our list. Where's the other candle? Where did I leave it? Wait, didn't I bring that back? I thought I was using that. I was holding it while I turned the breaker back on, right? Ah, you are here, okay. Speaking of the breaker. Ghosty, stop the shenanigans, please. Stepping around again, that's not a hunt. It's just the footsteps. It stepped into the salt because, yeah. See? Oh, it's so dark here. Fortunately, I know my way around this map. Okay, are you hunting? No. 
So what we're gonna do now is, since we got some early hunting ghosts on our list, we're gonna check for our sanity and see if it tries to hunt early. So let's hop back out. Okay, so here we are. This is our sanity. We have to be precise about that. So there's that orb. Ghosty, don't you want to do anything with that door? Hmm? So we got some ghosts with normal speed. These could be quite tricky. We got some ghosts with different speed. They could be easier, of course. <laughs> and we get some early hunting ghosts, potential early hunting ghosts. So we have to check for those. I think I'm gonna try to drain my sanity to 60. And after that, I'm gonna hold a candle and keep the sanity at a certain level. Do I need the power mic? No, I don't need it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here then. Actually, I could... Wait, wait, wait. There's one ghost I, I need it for. I have to check something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need those sensors. Wait a second. But I don't think it's that ghost. Wait, give me that sensor. You are still in there. That was me. Let's do some check. Let's see if the ghost comes to me. I don't know on this map if it works. Stepping around up there, huh? So I got a sensor there and one here and I have to check if the ghost wanders to me. If it won't wander to me within the next minute, I'm gonna test this in the room, in the other room there, on the same floor because these ghosts are bugged on the small maps, especially on the larger maps, it works. Okay, you're not wandering towards me, not at all, okay. So let's remove those. Go into this room, put one over here, drop you. A hunt could start any minute by the way, because I don't know yet what ghost we're dealing with. It could be an early hunting ghost. So and one, can we put this? Okay, wait, 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 ghosty, hold your horses. Okay, let's sit behind the sensor and see what happens now. That was a normal door touch. We have we we also need to pay attention to this, to the sound. Wait, my audio. You're stepping around a lot, but you're not wondering. That was loud. I've just turned up my front audio. <laughs> oh my god. So, you're not wandering towards me. Not at all. Okay. Again, dirty water. Nice. Okay. Time to check for sanity now. No, that's just an airball event. Go away from me. Go away. Leave that sensor. Go. No, it hit me. No, I need... Oh, my sanity. No. <laughs> my test. Damn it. Ghosty, why they keep doing this to me today? Why? Hey. Damn it, I'm below 50 now. Damn you! <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna grab this. Let's. I have to get one of the crucifixes out of there to secure my hiding spot. And uh, you're gonna hunt right away, huh? Are you gonna hunt now? No? Leave that here. Grab the crucifix. Please don't spawn on top of me like before. I had a ghost that spawned on top of me. That was mean. Don't spawn on top of me. I got a crucifix. Let's leave it here. Normal door touch. Oh, I just touched it. Okay, I'm gonna stand here 
because it won't be you love that door huh so let let's watch both of the doors if this door slams shut shut the hand starts if this door did you just use a crucifix if this door slams shut that also means something no it was just another door interaction okay we have to pay attention to the crucifix light flickering that's okay that's normal oh, we got the ghost event dirty water again you keep baiting me huh it used the crucifix next to the candle okay very important intel here it tells us a lot let's check sanity real quick okay so try to hunt at this amount we are are we above 40 we are above 40. interesting I can't take pills now. I have to wait till I'm at 35 because they restore 25% sanity. <coughs> because my goal is to be at 60% sanity. Are you gonna hunt right now? Wait! What? When did you do that? It. What? It closed the door. Oh, that's important. We have to watch that. Come on, Ghosty, do it again. I'm gonna grab another smudge. Come on. We have to watch it. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is dry. Okay. That was what I was suspecting since the door was closed. What you've just seen now. It was an event, okay. The door is still open. Hunt? Where the heck are you? Oh, you were coming from the nursery, okay? Okay, it's obvious what goes this is, right? You just saw what happened. And now I've smudged it, which means this ghost should stay in its room after the hunt. Oh, there you are. <laughs> it didn't see me. Wait, Ghosty, where the heck did you go? Are you scared of me? I know I'm, I look scary. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Are you gonna stay in your room now? That's why if you have a certain combo, you have to watch or look out for certain things. And this was a special ability of a certain ghost. No, that's normal. Come on, you can do better. Show it to us, come on. And we have to listen for it. It has a special sound. Do it again, come on. And this ghost shouldn't leave its room now, except it does a ghost event on top of me. That could happen, of course. But it's quite wormy. It wormed into this room and started hunting over there. So it did a ghost event here somewhere. Near. No, you can do better, come on. You can do better. It wormed into this room after the event and started hunting from over there. It's quite wormy. It's a wormy ghost. No, 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 that doesn't count. Try again, ghosty. Come on. Come on. Give us a sign. Show us. Is it hunting? No. Show us. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Come on, one more time, Ghosty, please. I just wanna... No, that's not the sound I was hoping for. Oh, see, now the smudge effect is over and it's leaving. I think it's roaming to this room again. And it went back in its room. I think the smudge effect is over. That's why it was able to leave. Come on, Ghosty, do it again. Usually the smudge effect uh, increases activity, also increases the ghost. Okay, also it triggers the ghost to use its ability, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't want to show us. And there are so many people complaining about this ghost we have right here. And I just say, 
at least try be a little bit patient don't go for a hunt all the time because you oh you can start hunting from here i got a crucifix you can start there but not here go back to your room show us go back to your room come on yeah Oh no, it's back, it's back, it's out here. We have to be careful. It could spawn right in front of us, but not on top of us this time. Okay, it's going back. See guys, that's why I love the sensors. I just love to watch the ghost for a while. This way you can also learn a lot about the ghosts. Some ghosts are wandering, some ghosts are territorial, some ghosts even follow you. And these things are the best way to figure that out. Did you? Okay, here you go. That's your treaty. Okay, let's wait for that hunt. I'm gonna wait after the hunt. We are 21, so I'm gonna wait till 22. And give the ghost a chance to use its ability once more. If it doesn't, okay, we're gonna leave it alone. I mean, it's not like, come on, ghost, you show us a backflip. Okay, it's done. Show us, give us a sign. I'm gonna leave the lights off in there. There you go, that's it. We can leave, you saw it? I hope you heard the sound. I was on the stairs, it was maybe muffled. It has a special sound as well. So if you don't see it and hear it, if you hear it, you will know. Wait, that's that ability. And also you can see it has drained our sanity. There you go. So what what could happen as well? Oh, it <laughs> threw the book. That's why I placed the cameras that way. So they face, you can see the room, you can see all bees in the room as you do right now. And so you can also see the room's door. See, it's opening it again, see? And you can also see that, I left one cam like this. You can also see that ability uh, from outside. If no one is nearby, the ghost is gonna do its ability anyways. Just like, wait, is this ghost? Yeah, it's from the list. Just like the poltergeist does. It uses its ability as well when so no one is around. But the purpose of the ability is to drain your sanity. For the poltergeist, every thrown item, I think it drains 1% or 2% sanity. And for this ghost, it drains also a certain amount. But I'm gonna tell you, make your decision and I'm gonna explain it to you. So we got everything. <laughs> Quick explanation incoming. <coughs> ah, sorry, my word is wrong again. Come on, close it again. No, <laughs> it's not doing it. But two times ability use, or three times. One time when while we were outside, okay. because the door was closed. It's a UA, and the UA has a special ability. And there are so many people complaining about UA and Banshee and Mare, because uh, if you have this combo, yes. This combo is quite difficult if you only rely on hunts. But if you are observant and watch the ghosts for a while outside of a hunt, you can figure out the banshee outside of a hunt because during the hunt it has normal speed, it has a normal hunting threshold. The mare you can figure out using the hunting threshold and the lights. It hunts at 60% sanity when the lights are off and at 40 when the lights in its room are on. But that means the room the ghost is currently in. So if you turn on the lights in the ghost room and the ghost roams into a dark room nearby, it can start a hunt from there at 60% of course. So you, that's also another reason to have the motion sensors, to know where the ghost currently is and then check your sanity that the hunt start above 50% or below. The yokai, yeah, you can also figure out by talking on top of it, you can figure it out during the hunt as well. So for the yokai, you got two ways. The Raichu is one of the ghosts you can figure it out uh, regarding the hunting threshold. It could hunt early when there's electronical stuff nearby. There was, I put all my stuff in the room, but it will also be fast near that stuff. So this is a ghost you can quite good figure out during the hunt. Um, like I said, these two were out anyways. The on you can figure out using the candles, but it used a crucifix um, beneath a lit candle, which means it can't be an on because the on has to blow out the candle first before it can start a hunt. 
So, the Revenant is one of the ghosts you can only figure out doing a hunt because of its speed. Same goes for Thay, because uh, the longer you stick around the ghost, the older it gets and the slower it becomes and the uh, lower the hunting threshold becomes. So yeah, how do you figure out the Banshee? I showed you. Sit behind the sensor, try it on the same floor where the ghost is, but in a distant room because it could be roaming and check if it comes to you. It never come came to us at for once. Never. It never wandered to us. You can also try and get the Banshee scream on the Paramike as well. You can sit there with the Paramike like I did, but the scream is quite rare. You need to be lucky for that, but the roaming to you will always happen with the Banshee. But like I said, they are bugged. On some maps, it doesn't work if you are on a different floor. It works for sure on prison sunny meadows i think I, on high school i have to test i'm not sure i think it worked on grafton as well the man she was downstairs and i was upstairs and it roamed to me upstairs i think this works but be careful on uh, tanglewood edgefield ridgeview there you have to be on the same floor as the ghost it doesn't work if you are on a different floor keep that in mind if you are testing for the banshee this way because this way is easier than uh, the hunt because the banshee the ua the yokai the mare, they will all have the same behavior during hunt, the same speed, the same blinking, etc. So, what happened here? The UA was so kind and showed us its ability, which was the door slamming pew, shut in one go. So, the UA is also a ghost you can only figure out outside of hunt because it's similar to the Banshee and the mare, except for the hunting threshold. But, if you are patient enough, it used its ability three times. Okay, it could happen that RNG is messing with you and it will never use its ability. This could happen as well, of course. I won't deny that, but be a little bit more patient and watch the ghost for a bit. A UA also roams further away than other ghosts. It's a roamy ghost. It's always a roamy ghost if you're dealing with a UA. Pay attention to the movement, to the behavior. You can also, after the hunt, when you smudge it, test with the sensors if it leaves the room for that smudge effect period, so 90 seconds. Check if it stays in the room. If it doesn't leave the room after 90 seconds, it's also an indication that it could be a UA and you can repeat that test. So be patient and you can figure out this ghost. It's not that hard. Sometimes you can be unlucky, sure. I had a mare once, I was dealing with it for 40 minutes and it never used its ability. It used it after, I don't know, 38 minutes. Yes, that could happen. But be patient. Sometimes it pays out. Trust me. So I hope you liked that one. See you in the next one. Bye.